going to do problem number 14, which is a bonus. So 14, it's true or false, and it says f of x has a local min at x equals 0, okay? And they give us the graph of the derivative, so they say y equals f prime of x corresponds to this graph. So at 2 it crosses, it goes down at 1 through the origin, back up at 1, and then down at 2. Okay? So this is the graph of the derivative. So to figure out if f of x has a local min at x equals 0, we need to graph the original function. Okay? So y equals f of x, we have our graph here, when this is above the x-axis, that means that I'm going to have a positive slope. Also, every time there's a min or a max, that means that it's going to cross the x-axis, because those are my critical numbers on my regular graph. So at 1 and 1, it's going to cross. And then when it crosses the x-axis on my derivative, it's going to be either a min or a max on my position graph. Okay? So this is above the x-axis, so I'm going to have a positive slope. It doesn't matter where it starts, so I have a positive slope. And then from 2 to 1, it's below the x-axis, so this is all going to be a negative slope all the way to 0 because it's below the x-axis here. So it's a negative slope down, and then it's above the x-axis, so again it's a positive slope, and it's going to cross at that point. And then it's going to go on from there. Okay? So the answer is going to be true. Because it does have a local minimum at x equals 0. So when f prime of x is positive or above the x-axis, then that means that f of x has a positive slope. Okay? So that's an important rule. So pretty much you just need to graph it, and then you can just look at it and see. Also, remember that when there's a min or a max, that means that it crosses the x-axis on my position graph. Okay? So this is number 14.